What's up everybody, Chris with South Carolina Gun School and today I just wanted to uh, talk to you because I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, carrying with a round in the chamber and if we, if they should carry with a round in the chamber or if they should carry their gun empty. Uh, my question is why would you carry your gun if you're not going to have a round in that chamber? It takes you so much longer to have to draw that weapon, load it, and then take your shot. And we'll go down to the range here shortly and uh, kind of let everybody see. And I'm no Jerry Michalik or anything like that. You know, I'm, I don't have this super fast draw time, but you'll be able to see the difference between drawing and shooting with the round in the chamber and then essentially drawing, loading, and then shooting with the round in the chamber. So, I'm gonna put this nicely. <laughs> I'm probably gonna end up hurting some feelings out there. But there's only, there's two reasons somebody isn't gonna carry with the round in the chamber. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to call anybody out. I don't want anybody getting butt hurt over this stuff. You know, I'm sure I probably just offended somebody with saying that the way thing is nowadays but I'm not going to get on that soapbox but two things one you don't trust your gun if you don't trust your gun you don't need to be carrying that gun I'm sorry I hate to sound mean but it, it just boils down to it if you don't trust your gun don't carry it it's plain and simple now, are there guns out there that have had issues uh, with certain safeties and things like that? Yes, there are. It's a... <sighs> this right here is just a machine. A machine that's made by a person. It's, it's a working mechanism made by a person so it's not going to be perfect but if you don't trust this thing you do not need to be carrying you saw when i took my weapon out of the holster there was one in the chamber i carry with one in the chamber no matter what i'm carrying whether it be this a sh the shield the 380 whatever it is there's one in the chamber if you're going to carry a revolver there's always one in the chamber so what's the difference there's no, there is no difference. So if that's that's one. If you're not going to trust this thing, do not carry it. Don't even pick it up and take it. Leave it in your house. Sorry to be so blunt and sound mean, but I'm, that's not what I'm trying to be. I'm trying to get everybody to understand. If you're not going to put one in the chamber, there's no sense in having this. Now the second thing, you don't trust yourself. Now, if you don't trust yourself, you need to go and get training. I've, even though I, I have the school, I'm an instructor, I still go and I still get training. I need to make sure I, I stay at the top of my game. Now, does that mean the top of my game is competition ready? No, it doesn't. There's still more I need to learn. There's still more I need to practice. But I trust myself and I trust my gun. So there is one in the chamber when I leave the house. You have to trust yourself. You have to trust your gun. It's that simple. If you can't do either both of those, or one of them at least for right now, pretty much number one, if you don't trust your gun, you do not need to carry it. I'm not saying you don't need to have it. You don't need to carry it. If you don't trust it, don't carry it. If there's not going to be one in the chamber, don't carry it. If you don't trust yourself, go and get training. I'm not saying come to our school. That would be great. I would love to help you. That's what we're here for. We're here to help you trust yourself to carry that weapon. Somewhere. Go, there, there's plenty of schools out there. Go somewhere. Now, I will say our prices are very competitive compared to what's out there. By the time you, you know, take the class, get the ammunition you're pretty much right at what you're going to be paying for some of the other schools now i'm not saying the other schools 
aren't that great. I've paid those prices. There are great schools out there. We just want to make it reasonable for your average person. Most of your people that have been carrying or that are going to start carrying and that want that training are going to spend that money. I want people that don't like guns, never been around guns, to start learning about them. It's the only way we're going to fix what's going on. But again, sorry, I'm getting on a soapbox here. Don't trust it. Don't carry it. Do not carry it. When this magazine goes into this gun and it goes on your hip, or ladies in your purse or wherever you might be carrying it, there needs to be one in the chamber. I didn't load the weapon before anybody flips out. But you, you've got to trust this, and you've got to trust this. All right? Trust your gun, trust yourself. If you don't trust your gun, I'm sorry, there's no training in the world that's going to get you to trust your gun. You have to trust your gun. If you don't trust yourself, go and get training. If not, I understand. If you can't afford the training, go out and practice. What I usually tell everybody is 50 rounds twice a month. If you can do more, that's great. But 50 rounds twice a month. Just to keep those skills where they need to be. And it's just a simple draw and two shots. Draw and two shots. That's where you're going to be doing most of your work from, is the draw. Draw two shots. Draw two shots. Usually what I'll do is load a mag up with 10 rounds. Draw two shots. Draw two shots. When that's done, go put another mag in. And it's that same thing. Believe me, I was all over the place when I first started doing this stuff, but you've got to practice. We've also got the simulation software that's still available. I know we don't have it listed on the website right now. Uh, that's kind of a uh, request. If anybody would like to do it, that stuff is still available. Uh, but you're going to have to reach out to me, and we'll work out a time when you can come in and use it. I use it. It's great. It helps save on ammunition. You're still working those motor skills and the basics. Drawing and taking a shot. Drawing and taking a shot. So, trust yourself. Trust your gun. And now we're going to go down to the range and see why you need to trust yourself and trust your gun. You're going to see the differences. I promise. Okay, so we're down on the range and we're going to go and uh, draw, shoot two with one in the chamber. Then we're going to take empty gun, draw, load, shoot two. You'll be able to see the differences. Uh, unfortunately, I didn't bring the timer. I apologize. Uh, if you want to sit there with a stopwatch, and kind of time it you'll be able to see but even without a stopwatch you're going to be able to see how much longer it takes and why you need to carry with one in the chamber so empty gun full magazine we're loaded up one in the chamber ready to go we'll step down i'm at about uh five yards for this There was a draw, two with one in the chamber. Go ahead and set this up for an empty gun. So everybody can see. Empty gun. Let me get this bullet back in the mag here. I've got the mag. Empty gun still. Load it up. Now we're going to have to draw, load, and shoot two. You'll see how much longer. And I mean, we're talking about split seconds here, but split seconds in a situation that's probably going to last anywhere from three to five seconds is the difference between life and death. You can see how much longer that takes and why it's best to go ahead and make sure you carry them with one in the chamber. If it's, it's pointless to carry the gun and not have one in the chamber. 
it, it's just pointless. You might as well not even have it. So always remember, folks, if you're not shooting, you're reloading. If you're not reloading, you're fighting. If you're not fighting, you're dead. Train to live. Hopefully I'll see you out here on the range.